In this video we're going to look at how to show and hide columns based on the value in a column in a grid. So just show this this is a um, grid based on a SQL table. Alignment is a field in the in the table and it's got uh, a value of 1 in it right now I think. And we've got another what eight fields that we can deal with. So let's go into working preview and see how this looks first. So because the uh, because alignment has a value of 1 in it, I'm just showing columns 1 and 2. If I put two in there, we show a um, different set of columns and hide columns one and two. And for three, again, we're hiding all the other columns and just showing three different columns. And we can come back to this. And uh, let's go and see how we did this now. Um, we go into alignment. Alignment on change is calling a JavaScript function called show hide columns so I created this uh, this function so I'll save that and get out of it and in client side events events uh, on on grid render complete I'm calling the same function so that when the grid displays initially uh, it's going to read that value and, and display the columns appropriately and let's go into JavaScript functions so show hide columns. We're grabbing the row number from the uh, current row and then we're grabbing the value from the alignment field based on that current row. We're using a switch statement which reads the value of current align, current align. And if it's one then we're doing a, uh, using the uh, grid method show grid column and we're just turning on and off the grids, the uh, columns that I want. So city is going to show, country is going to show, but uh, F name, L name, all the rest are going to uh, all are going to be hidden because their values are false. And then when we go to two, if we were to select two, then I'll turn off city and country and turn on a few others and make sure the other ones are turned off. So every um, every row has to be uh, dealt with and uh, three, exactly the same thing. Turn everything off that I don't want, turn everything on that I do want. And that's all there is in here. Yeah, there's nothing else. I'll just expand this a bit. Yeah, that's all. And uh, that's about it. So once again, read the value of the uh, alignment field and turn on and off um, columns that you assign. Thanks for watching.